Vice President Pence today making big news in Brussels, getting NATO to commit to its financial obligation and also reminding the world of America's commitment to Europe and underscoring that the need for a free and independent press. Both the president and I strongly support a free and independent press, but you can anticipate uh, that the president uh, and uh, all of us will continue to call out the media when they play fast and loose with the facts. Of course, remember President Trump slammed the media during his weekend rally following a series of tweets uh, shaming several media outlets. Uh, we're going to talk about it now. Amy Holmes is back. Lee Carter joins us as well as Julian Melcher. Lee, uh, you monitor this kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot of people are saying, listen, what, what President Trump is, is saying mm -hmm. is a reflection of how real regular people just in so-called flyover states particularly have felt for a long time that you've got this elitist media that's more or less looked down on them and forgotten their role. You know, I think it's really interesting if you look at some of the polls. Fox News just did a poll about do you trust the media or Donald Trump, and it was really close. It said 42 trusted the media, 45 percent trusted Donald Trump. But when you start to break it down by political affiliation, what ends up happening? Republicans almost 90 percent trust Trump more than they, they they trust the media. When you look at independents, almost three quarters of them trust the media more than they trust. I trust Donald Trump more than they trust the media. So there's definitely this feeling that you cannot trust the media, that they are really thankful that somebody's talking directly to them, and they like this idea that Trump is not willing to just take it as it is and that he's going to fight to get his word out there. There are a lot of people that are afraid of it, but at the same time, there's a huge swath of folks that are really, really supporting Donald Trump. In that well, of course, effort. Senator McCain is not one of them. <laughs> uh, he came out pretty harshly o overseas. and. You know, uh, some people took issue with that, Jillian, in the sense that uh, the Donald Trump tweet said fake news, not all media, but he said these particular outlets have an agenda that he thinks make them the enemy of the, the people. And some of them absolutely do. I mean, if you look at the New Republic uh, running a totally speculative piece this weekend about does Donald Trump have syphilis? I wouldn't even that's, call it speculative. That, I'd it call was, it spurious. It was, it was horrifying, yeah. yeah. But I think a lot of journalists are not like that and have criticized him on very legitimate things. And that is the proper rule of the media, to be telling the truth, to be getting the facts out. Are all journalists perfect? Absolutely not. But I think the, the assault on the media has gone too far. It's hyperbolic. And it's not transparent. That's one of the things we, claimed, uh, we complained a lot about with the Obama administration. And that transparency really does What's serve a purpose. What's not transparent? What do you mean when you say it's not transparent? So I, I think the Trump administration has not been particularly transparent so far, down to simple things like Trump releasing his tax returns. That's an important thing to know, whether you have a conflict of interest. And it's the media's should, job to serve the But should the media the retaliate, though? Uh, should mm -hmm. there be a retaliatory nature mm -hmm. with the media, Amy? And in other words, say, you know, the media has its misgivings about the Trump administration on this or that or this mm -hmm. but you know a lot of people feel like that they went to war with him as a candidate and that lingers into his presidency oh they certainly have and at Rasmussen reports we find that nearly a majority even just last month this is after the president's been elected after he's been inaugurated that nearly half of likely voters uh, believe that the media is still biased against Donald Trump and I would say yes we need to have an adversarial adversarial press we need an investigative press but we don't need a press that makes up stories like the president uh, Trump Trump removed the bust of MLK from the Oval Office. That story went halfway around the world before the truth could put its boots well, on. Well, they understood and how serious that would absolutely. be. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I would also like to point out, for John McCain to be in Munich, Germany, trashing the President of the United States, when uh, Der Spiegel, I don't know if you know the, the magazine, sure. put a cover of Donald Trump decapitating the Statue of Liberty with a bloody machete. This is also a country that doesn't allow free press. It actually has restrictions on free speech. So I, I found his remarks there to be totally irresponsible. You know, I think one thing that's going to be really interesting to see is how this plays out with the press. There's actually a Colorado newspaper right now where a politician accused them of fake news that's preparing to file a defamation suit over that. And I think that's going to have huge legal implications because we are having accusations that sometimes good reporting right. or opinion reporting is fake news and it's think, a difference. But I think it's so hard now to tell who, what is opinion journalism and what is investigative reporting. You don't know. When you're going and you're looking at a headline in the New York Times it says you know, Donald Trump is a pathological liar. Like that is a diagnosis. Can they really be <laughs> right. making that? That is completely, and you're supposed to say this is a newspaper. This isn't in the op-ed section. Yeah. This is in and a what news about section. The uses and of all these not okay. What about the uses of all these anonymous sources? Yeah. And yeah, we know that's that not that great not Ladies, we have to leave it there. It's a fantastic conversation, and I got a feeling we'll be talking about it again. Yes, we will. Right, thank, thank you. Happy you President's Day. <laughs>